guys, it's your girl, Auntie and Mara. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash work vlog. And it's Friday night. We about to make some shmoolah. So make sure before watching this video, you guys are subscribed. Follow me on all my social medias. I'll put them on the screen. Give this video a big fat like because it helps me a lot. And let's get into the video. Okay. I'm about to do my hair. We're going to do that off camera. But like, I just want to talk to you guys real quick. Today's a Friday night. If you don't know where I work, I work at Knockout Sports Bar. It's literally like Hooters or Twin Peaks. But... More fun. <laughs> I am very, very excited to go to work. I'm always excited to go to work, especially at night, because working at night is just so much more fun than working in the day, because there's so many more people, you meet so many new faces, like, it's just lit. Tonight is red lingerie, because it's February. Today is February 7th, I believe. Next week is Valentine's Day, so if you guys want to send me a Valentine's Day gift, I got a P.O. box. Check the description box. Basically, you can send me whatever you want. There's literally a PO address down there. I know some of y'all have been asking me for it, so I opened one for you guys. So I have a PO box down in the description box, so make sure to check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair off camera, and I'll be talking to you guys more about my outfits and how work has been for the past few days, how much money I've been making, all of that. It's just a little chit chat, get ready with me, slash vlog, because I'll vlog at work a little bit. And then, yeah, we'll see how things go. So. I'll see y'all after I finish my hair. 12 seconds later. So, just finished my week, and now I'm going to start my eyebrows. And first step is to moisturize, so I always use the Sun Bum Space 50. It's my SPF. And then it's cool because I always do my eyebrows first, and you're supposed to let your sunscreen sit on your face for at least 15 minutes before applying any makeup. So, let that brow boy sink in. Last Sunday, I made literally $10, and then I bought food from work, so literally I left work with one dollar. It was so sad. I was hurt and annoyed, but it's fine. That's why I'm kind of glad they didn't schedule me on Sunday this week, because like last Sunday, the fuck bitch sent me home. Like that shit was so dead. Like <laughs> it was so so dead. Like so dead. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, but what about the Super Bowl? Because the Super Bowl was last weekend. I worked in the morning, not the night, so even if I did work the Super Bowl, I probably would have made more money if I worked the Super Bowl for sure, you know? But So, Valentine's Day is next week. I have no plans, no boo. Don't be asking, because I don't got one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just really not worth it. High school boys are so annoying. Like, they're so irritating. It's like, they want me to hate them. <laughs> And it's not even like I be trying to hate on them. Like I be like trying to get people the benefit of the doubt and they end up being stupid. Like I, it's just like, why even bother? Like high school boys are nothing, they're nonsense. So speaking of date, prom is coming up and I would do like a prom dress shopping video but your girl's getting her dress made. So there's no shopping to be done. Cause we only do customs out here. <laughs> Last year I didn't do a prom dress shopping video because I ordered my dress online. So, and I know that's really risky, but like if you're a girl and you're looking into doing that, the website I ordered my dress from was Mia Bella Couture, and I ordered my dress in a size eight and it fit perfectly. A lot of people don't order stuff online because they're so scared about sizing and stuff, and I totally get it, but I'm like an order online guru. Like, rarely does it not fit me, so. I don't know, I feel like prom this year is gonna be awesome. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I just have this vision and I know it's gonna be fire. Like it's gonna be so fire. I'm definitely getting like a photographer, a video, the same guy who's gonna do my photos, he's gonna like make a video for me. So like definitely, like definitely. I'm gonna run for prom queen this year too. So y'all vote for me if y'all go to my school, please. <laughs> Cause I wanna see if I could win. I doubt it. Cause like most of the time some girl in band, like some random ass girl in band will win, but like not random ass, but like uh, like some super popular band girl. And you know, like there's so many band kids at my school. So I don't know if I'd actually win or not, but vote for me for prom queen because I am running. Thing is, I don't think I'm well liked in my school. Like, I don't think I'm one of those, like I'm not one of the popular kids. Like not that there is like, there's not necessarily like, I mean, I guess you could say there's like people that everybody in the class knows and likes, but there's not like, oh my God, like, did you see like in lunch? Like, no, like I think that our school kind of does a good job with like, um, like us having like different lunch periods and stuff. Like they do a good job with like doing like 
not building like popularity clicks and like oh this is the cool people table type of stuff like i'm definitely not one of the popular girls so don't expect to see me like you know <laughs> if you guys ever pay attention to my videos most of the stuff i do is by myself or with kenya and that is it <laughs> or fatima and that's it like i don't really have a whole bunch of besties and i wish i did i definitely have some friends that i'm like okay that's my friend we're definitely cool like you know but i don't have anybody else that's like bestie i usually put on my outfit like my lingerie fit before i start my makeup i'm gonna put it on after i do my eyebrows but i wouldn't change a thing i would never be like that person that's like let me move to la like i get it la is great and i would definitely go out there for like, work opportunities and stuff and if it comes to the point where i cannot function if i'm not living in la then probably i'll move i feel like texas is just so much cheap it's number one is definitely much cheaper a few moments later so i just put on my work clothes underneath this i'll show you guys when i get to work but about to finish the makeup it says finish the makeup <laughs> bitch only has eyebrows on and it's almost three o'clock but i mean i know i can finish in an hour i'll be fine now time to beat this face Saturday night, I'm going to be chopping off my hair. You heard me right, so I'm gonna be doing a big old chop. Ooh, oh, no ma'am, we got a patchy little eyebrow on the loose. Patchy. Sorry to the Girl Scout, we are not doing no patch. Uh. It's currently 3.20, I, little, I look like a ghost. I just put on like five different primers. So since I do my makeup a lot, like not a lot, but like three days a week, typically, I like to test out like lasting or longevity techniques. So like this time I'm trying like, the uh elf putty primer i'm trying uh spraying my face before you know putting on anything like i'm trying everything because your girl is an oily ass girl and anything that can help keep the oil at bay we down for and now we're about to beat this face beat this face beat this face beat this face <laughs> I literally do the same foundation routine every single time so i always use the same l'oreal infallible pro Pro total coverage thing. Right now it's 3.20, so I have to be at work in an hour. So I'm gonna try and hurry up. I should be done though. Like, me and my face, that'll take long. And I'm gonna spray my beauty blender with uh, the mattifying setting spray. And then I'm gonna try putting that on my face. Oh, I know, I know, it's a lot of foundation. I get it. Not for the average person, but for the average bad bitch, it's normal. <laughs> uh. Last shift, yeah, I only made a dollar. <laughs> if you didn't hear me earlier, the bitch didn't make shit. <laughs> the shift before that, I made like 65, and the shift before that, I made 220. So, like, literally, it super varies. Like, and I feel like because I worked in the morning, like, working in the morning at a bar is really not worth it unless it's like a breakfast bar. It's really not, to be honest, because it's like you won't really make money. Like, I'm like thinking about it, and it's like, Yes, like if you work at Buffalo Wild Wings as a server, like on a Sunday, you'll definitely make like a hundred bucks. Um, but the thing is like, you'll make that money. <laughs> you'll make that money because of the food and not because of the drinks because people don't go to Buffalo Wild Wings on a Sunday morning to get fucked up, you know? I'm just saying like, typically, most of the time, people go to bars like Friday, Saturday nights, Thursday nights even. Um, so those are like the best days to work at a bar. Versus if you're trying to work during the week, you might not be making no money because of like, people don't really typically go drink during the week. So weekends is really where it's at. So even if I had my availability open up, which is not open right now because of high school and stuff. Even if I had an open availability, I would still only work weekends because the weekends is where the money is at. Now, obviously like the girls in the chat will be like, hey, somebody take my shit for like 30 bucks. Somebody take my shit for $50. Like if they really need it gone, stuff like that. Weekends is really where it's at with money. So if you want to take somebody's shift, like have them pay you if it's during the week, because that way you just make some type of money versus like going in for work, not making shit. Cause like, as servers, we only get paid our tips. Like literally we only get paid our tips. I never see a paycheck. So our tips, once I make my tips, that's what I go home with. I mean, that's just how serving works though. Everybody gets paid $2 an hour and you make whatever tips you get. Now I know in other states, like obviously the, the pay rate is higher. I think in California, it's like five something. You get paid $5 an hour um, and then whatever tips you make. Forehead in the city. If you guys know where that, that jingle is from, I fuck with you. Magic in the city. 
So once I'm done with the beauty blender, I go in um, with the foundation brush and then I just buff whatever marks I might have missed. I always like to get super close to my ring light when I do this or when I blend, period, because I feel like uh, the better lighting that you have, the better your makeup's gonna turn out, so. I really do this three-step concealer method. This is what Jackie Ina taught me. Yeah, Jackie Ina, she came to my house and we like had a makeup sesh, like no bitch. Like Jackie Ina taught me that you having three steps to your concealer routine is so essential for the perfect blend. It looks so good, it just looks good. Makes you look like clocked in, snatch the perfect amount of blended. I try to do most of my makeup like off of what Jackie Ina says, but sometimes you gotta finesse yourself. Like that's the thing about makeup. It's there's no real rules. Like I mean obviously everybody knows a beat face from a cake face, you know. We know. But like there's really no rules on how you're supposed to do it. Like Everybody has their own techniques, their own methods, like, and that's why makeup is like bomb. That's why we fuck with makeup. We're gonna go in with powder to clock in that jawline, clock in for work. I love how my face looks with setting powder though. Like it's so, so. Now I'm going to contour. 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 We know like big updates. Tomorrow there's a fight. They schedule me in the morning, thank God. But like I just recently changed my availability to night for Friday and Saturday because like your girl, I just need to get used to working a fight night. I'm just so scared of people walking out on me that it like fucking trips me up. But like if I learn how to do this correctly, like if I learn like to not have as many comps and like, you know, figure shit out, then yeah, it will be good to be honest. Today I'm gonna really focus on talking to my tables Couples, okay, so couples I don't really talk to. Even though you probably should, I just don't really talk to them because I just feel like um, they came together, they came to spend time together. Like, we talk to them is kind of like me being annoying. So, I don't really talk to couples like as much as I talk to like guys by themselves or guys in groups. If it's guys in groups, I like legit sit down with them, like, what's up? But like, if it's a couple, then I'll be like, hi. I'll be like an actual like, typical basic ass waitress versus like sitting and talking with them you know what i mean they're a couple they're together like they don't really need like this annoying ass server girl like talking i don't know <laughs> that's just how i see it though they might be like oh this bitch talks to all her other male tables but not us because she thinks that she can't get a good tip from us no it's not that deep it's just that i feel shy when it comes to talking to couples because they're couples they're couples so now i'm gonna brush off the bake I just feel like the Sahara Desert. So now we're gonna go in with blush. Blushes that are like dark plum or peach. Not peach, but no. On me, dark plum looks good to me. To me. I have to kind of look because sometimes I'll overdo it for sure. For sure, for sure. I don't like too much blush. Like, I could go without blush, but just a little bit. Still cute. All done. So now we're gonna spray the face and do our lippy lips and we will be on the way to work. Hey guys, so I just finished the makeup, about to wash my hands, or well, I wash my hands already. Coronavirus! But I'm about to brush my hair, head to work, and see if we can make this money. The bitch closure is sliding back, like it's time to get a new hairdo. I'm so excited, we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna touch on my face and I'll see you guys at work. Or not my face, but my hair, but whatever. Y'all heard me. Make sure I left my shoes at work, I hope so, cause the fuck? All I have is like these tall ass black boots in my car and it's not gonna go with the outfit that I'm wearing. So, we're going to work now and uh, I will see you guys when we pull up and yeah, hopefully we have a lot of fun. I always keep my makeup and stuff in my purse, so like if I need to go touch up, I can do that. Um, but today should be pretty fun, so let's go! Oh, I like totally forgot I was vlogging. I did the same thing last video. Basically, I'm in the changing room, walkers, y'all already know. Oh, let me show you guys my outfit. Hold on. So it's this set from Savage Fenty. I'm not gonna turn around because I don't want to get demonetized like I did last time. So it's cute. And then some white socks. So that's the fit. Me and Amy back at it again. Y'all already know. <laughs> Chill I don't have any tables. 
She has one. Have to actually have to go get there. Oh, okay. See you later. <laughs> I'm home now, I'm about to count my money. Please. And I also stopped at IHOP, if you guys saw, so minus, I'd say like $19, and I put a $50, and I tip, so whatever. Anyways, so we got two, three, three, 100. 80. It would have been 215, but now it's 180, 190, like 195. Basically, I made 215, but I bought food, so. Um, I am so, so, so very tired. Like, so very tired. I just want to freaking pass out and I have to come back up there at literally 10 30. Thank this and needless to say I'm not wearing a full beat tomorrow. And my skin needs to breathe and I'm just so fucking exhausted. Today's work story times. Oh um, no well, I don't know if this girl is drunk but she was <laughs> one of the servers and she got on the table and started like twerking and our manager got like hella mad like he was he's, he like yelled her name and was like okay okay um i had this group of hispanic guys come in and it was three of them one of them was like super interested in me and like he was like let me get your number i was like no nah, you gotta impress me like because there's ways to finesse guys like there's so many ways to finesse so like every time i come back to his table new beer he'd bring me he'd give me 20 bucks he ended up giving me 60 dollars that whole night so, and I gave him a fake number. <laughs> so, whoops, but he'll get over it. I had this tape, these guys at the bar that were like, hey, let me take a picture of you. People always ask me, they're like, let me take a picture with you. And usually I'm just like, okay. But now, like, one of the bouncers was like, bro, charge people $20 for that shit. They'll give it to you. Like, I promise. And like, they gave me 20 bucks to take a picture with them. So, then they started trying to take videos and shit. I was like, no. He was like, turn around, turn around. I was like, no, what the fuck? Like, an extra 20 don't play i had this one guy who literally was begging me for my number like the whole night he, they finally cash out and then tell me freaking why tell me freaking why that he tips five dollars don't be asking me for my phone number if you're gonna tip me five dollars like that's just that's just stupid like stupid like you want to make, have me think that you can take me out and take care of me but you tip me five dollars like bye Ugh. There's so much like makeup remover like in my eyes right <laughs> now. I can't fucking see. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big fat like. If you liked it, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see next. And I will catch you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Eh? Bye.
girl. Ew. <laughs>